How do you make sure that your container images are safe before they are deployed? I'll give you two hints, Cosine and OPA. Hi, my name is Dewan Ahmed and I'm a developer advocate at Harness. Cosine, as part of SIGStore, is a command line utility to sign and verify container images. Open Policy Agent, or OPA in short, is a popular general purpose policy engine. Harness provides policy-based governance that is built on top of OPA. In this video, we'll deploy a container image to our Kubernetes cluster by verifying that the image is safe to do so by checking its image signature and enforce the policy using OPA. Let's get started. Imagine that as an architect of this project, you're tasked to create a new secure base image for the application. You pull down the public base image for this application, do a vulnerability scanning, clean up unnecessary components, then install required libraries and software, you do a configuration and security testing, and finally, you do an image signing with Cosign. You push the signed image as the new base image for your application. Now I'll sign a publicly available image using Cosign's keyless signing. For that, I'll log in to my Docker Hub so that I can push images. Next, I'll pull down the public image for the guestbook application. Next, I'll tag two versions of the same image, one as the dev image and the other one as the prod image. Now, I already have my Docker Hub username in the environment variable, my Docker Hub username. Next, I'll export two environment variables for the images, one for the dev image and one for the prod image. Next, let's push these two images to my Docker registry. This is the same image because I tagged from the same image, but in your case, these two will be different images. All right, so now we have our dev image and prod image pushed to image registry. Let's show you how these look. So these are my repositories and we have guestbook dev and guestbook prod. One interesting thing to notice here is if you click on the tag, you'll see the digest, right? See this one ends at 9975 for the dev image. Let's look at the prod image. So the prod image, let's click on the tag and the digest also ends at 9975. That shows that the digest are the same. But in practical case, these two digests will be different. For this demo, I'm using the same image, so the digests are same. So now we're gonna use Cosign to sign these images using the keyless signing. It's advised to sign using the image digest because ideally these will be different and not using the image tag. So if you don't have Cosign on your system, this is the step where you need to install Cosign. And I'll be adding a link in the description on how to install Cosign. So if I hit cosign, you'll see that it's installed on my machine. First, let's, let's uh, uh, sign the, the dev image. And I have the image digest as an environment variable. I'll let me quickly echo. So these are the image digest and I have the same for the prod image as well. So the com command is cosign sign followed by the image. And right here, where I have the dev image digest, you can also put image tag instead of digest, but it's recommended to use image digest instead. So now Cosign will direct me uh, to whatever OIDC provider uh, I want to configure. So let me do yes, and I'll use GitHub as the OIDC provider. You have to click authorize six store. And that's it. Once that's done, you'll be redirected to the terminal. And this image is signed, the, the signature is pushed. 
I'll show you in a bit how the signature looks like. Let me sign the second image, which is the prod image. Similar step, you have to choose yes. This will open up a new window. You select your OIDC provider. In this case, I'm using GitHub to sign this image. Keyless signing, close this, come back. And now that the images are signed, let me go to my Docker image registry and show you how this look. If I now go to one of my repositories, you'll see that now there is a new tag. This is for the signature itself. And you'll see the same for the other image, which is guestbook dev. So this is how keyless signing work for cosine. Next, let's use cosine verify command to verify the image signature. It takes in the image as one of the parameters. And because we used keyless signing, it takes two flags, one for the certificate identity, which is typically your email, and the other for certificate OIDC issuer. You can use GitHub, GitLab, Google, and so on. The response has two parts. One part says that the following checks were performed. And the second part is a JSON response containing some critical and some optional fields. It might be easier to pipe it through JQ so that we can make more sense of this response. Now, based on this response, you can see how we can add some policies and governance before we actually deploy an image to our Kubernetes cluster. For example, if the image has a specific digest, if the image was signed using a specific OIDC issuer, and so on. Next, we'll be adding this check, but not a manual check, but more of an automated cosine verify check within our CI CD pipeline. We'll be adding the cosine verification and OPA enforcement to an existing pipeline. The expectation is you have already watched this video and you have a typical continuous deployment pipeline that deploys an application to a Kubernetes cluster. If you haven't done that, no worries at all. I'll be adding a link to this video in the description. Once you have completed that video tutorial, you should have a pipeline like this, a guestbook rolling pipeline, a pipeline that has a single stage, deploy guestbook, and that stage has a single step, rollout deployment. Now, our goal is before this step, add a few steps that will do the verification. Click on the plus button, click add step, and then from this step, from these libraries, search for shell. And under utilities, you'll find the shell script step. Click that, give this a name. I'll call this cosine underscore verify. Leave the other options as default. And within the script, paste in this command, you'll find this command in the tutorial, which I'll be adding in the description. Now let's see what these commands do. The first part, which is line one to three, installs cosine. Line number five saves the response of cosine verify command. Some of these values, they are used from environment variables that's within the pipeline. I'll show you where you can define these environment variables for the pipeline. And line number seven to 10 parses various parts from this response and gets the value for the image registry, the digest, specific string for the image sign, and then finally, which OIDC issuer was used to sign your image. Let's close that, click on apply changes, and then I'll show you if you click on variables, here's where you can define these variables. So these are the ones that I use for my Docker username, OIDC certificate identity and issuer. Harness provides a very easy to click the reference of these variables. So you can click the copy button and then you, you can copy the reference to use it within a stage of the pipeline or anywhere within the pipeline. We're not done yet. We actually have to click the step and then these variables are scoped within the step. 
but we want to use the, the variables or the output of these variables outside of these steps. In order to do so, we have to use script output variables. It's very easy to define script output variables. I'll show you how. Expand the optional configuration piece and here click on add output variables. I'll use a consistent naming convention. What I'll do is I'll prefix these variables with SOV underscore for script output variable. So let's do that for all four. Once done, click apply changes and hit save. All right, now remember using console.log in your code to see if something is working or not? We're gonna do something very similar. Click on the plus between the cosine verify step and the rollout deployment step. What we're going to do is add a temporary shell script step to output these variables, at least one variable to see if we're getting the right output. Let's call it temp because we'll be deleting it pretty soon. Let's use echo and the value follows this format. Execution dot steps followed by name of the step. My step name was cosigner score verify. You might have a different step name dot output dot output variables and the name of the output variable. So let's see if we can get the image registry value from this step. All right, this looks good. Click on apply changes, save. And now let's run the pipeline. If you remember from this video, we actually have to provide the namespace as a pipeline runtime input. So dev ns is the namespace, but you can use any other namespace that you have. All right, click run pipeline. For this run, we are specifically interested into that temp step to see if we can get our registry, uh, image registry name from that temp step. So let's uh, see the log, let's click here and expand that and we can see that this is the echo command output, index.docker.io, the username followed by the registry repo. So this seems to be working fine. We're happy with it. Uh, let's delete this temporary step and we'll be adding a step for policy enforcement. Now let's add the policy enforcement step. Before we actually do that, let's create some policies. Policy-based governance is a paid feature on Harness. From your project setup, click on policies and then click create my policy. Policies are written in Rego. Let's say you don't uh, know much about Rego and you need some help. You can click on AIDA or AI Development Assistant and ask Ada to write policies for you. For example, I said write a policy to deny any image digest not matching a specified value and Ada generated this policy for me. I can copy this and then paste it in the policy editor. One note here is that before you actually use any code generated from Ada in production, use your judgment and testing. All right, so now we actually need the image digest of our image. I signed into my Docker registry for the guest book dev repo. And from the image 0.1, I can see that this is the image digest. The image digest will be same for both guestbook dev and guestbook prod because they were from the same image tag. Let's copy that for you. This image tag, this digest might be different. Next, click on enforce policy. The policy is scoped at the project level. And when the pipeline is run, then the policy will be enforced and the policy failing will actually error and exit the pipeline. You're all set and let's apply the policy. Let's click on view policy. We can see that the policy has a name, uh, follows a generic convention, but let's change this. Click on edit and from the top, click on this uh, edit button and let's call this check uh, image digest. Click on apply and then click on save. 
all policies must be part of a policy set in Harness. Uh, we can see there's a new policy set. The name is auto-generated. Um, I don't like auto-generated names, so let's actually go ahead and change that. Click on edit and let's call this cosine enforcement policy set. A very descriptive name. Uh, leave everything as is and click continue. Click on finish. Let's add one more policy. Uh, click on new policy. Let's call this check image registry. You have two options to store uh, your policies either in a remote Git repository or within Harness. That's the inline option. Click apply and we can uh, use the same uh, format for the image digest but this time rather than image digest this will be the image registry so let's replace digest with registry and we know that our image registry is the index.docker.io if we see the response we received from the cosine verify command this is the output for the docker reference so let's copy this and replace that value here and hit save. Now let's add the second policy we created to the cosine enforcement policy set. Click on this policy set, hit edit, click continue, click add policy and put a checkbox on check image registry, hit apply and click finish. Now we can see both policies under this policy set. Now that we have created two policies and a policy set, you might be wondering how to use this in a pipeline. Glad you asked. Let's open up the pipeline guestbook rolling pipeline within the deploy guestbook stage. You already have the cosine verify step. A rollout deployment and cosine verify in between that, click on the plus and create a new step. This is a policy step. You can find policy step within all the step library. You can name this cosine policy enforcement. And within the payload, you have two values, one for digest and the other for registry. You can see that this follows the variable expression within harness execution dot steps followed by the id of the step for me it's cosine underscore verify for your case this might be different dot output dot output variables and we have the script output variable named in this manner sov underscore followed by the variable name so we're using two variables one to check the image digest and the other to check which image registry this image is coming from. You'll see that you'll have to add a policy set. If you click add or modify policy set, you can select the policy you, ha you have. For me, I have the check image sign policy where there are two policies, check image digest and check image registry. So once you select that and apply, you'll have the policy set for this policy step. You can click on apply changes. And once you have all those information, you can go ahead and just run this pipeline. Before you actually run, I want to show you one thing within the cosine verify step. Here, you have the image coming from this pipeline variable, your Docker Hub username slash guestbook dev 01. Now this is the signed image. As you can see within my Docker registry, this guestbook dev has the tag and this tag is for the cosine signature. So when you're using this image, then the pipeline policy step should pass and the image should be deployed. But if we used another image, a generic image, 
then this pipeline should fail. So let's look at the positive or happy path first. I'll go ahead and run this pipeline. I have to provide the namespace, which is dev-ns, and click on Run Pipeline. Once I do that, the pipeline has kicked off, and the cosine verify step is running now. I'll zoom in to show you the pipeline logs, the script output. So these are the four script output variables. You can see that the cosine policy and for enforcement step also passed and the rollout deployment step has started. The deployment is successful. Let's examine the policy and enforcement step. If we click and expand the policy set, which has two policy, policy one, check image digest is a success and the check image registry is also a success. If we expand the execution, we can see that the input digest matches the digest from the pipeline execution. Now let's make a change. So let's go back to the pipeline and we'll update our image to use a public version of the guestbook image, which is not signed. Ideally, you'd be changing this image in an environment variable and that image would be changed both in the deployment manifest as well as the verify step. But for this demonstration, I'll only be making change in this cosine verify step. So this is the public image for the guestbook application. This is coming from a different image registry, not my own Docker image registry. And this is not the image that I, I signed. So this doesn't have the cosine signature. Let's save this and now rerun the pipeline. I'm expecting that this time the cosine policy inform, enforcement step should fail and the deployment should not happen. As expected, our policy step indicates both the policies for digest and registry failed and the image was not allowed for a deployment. Now I have a homework for you, but don't be scared. This one is fun. So in this video, you have tested if the image has a specific digest and if the image is coming from a specific registry, but you can do more checks. For example, if the image was signed using a specified OIDC provider. Now, in the video description, I have added a link to this tutorial, which lets you explore all these options. If you liked this video, please drop a like, follow Harness's YouTube channel. My LinkedIn and Twitter handles are on the video description. Feel free to connect me there. And if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.